I recently did a Google training course and learned so many things that I didn't know. One of them is Google Chrome and how bookmarks work and how the bookmark bar works. Now, I don't know if you're one of these people. I have to admit that all the time I've been using Google Chrome, I never understood it. And yet now I realize it's super, super useful. I'm going to quickly show you how the bookmarks bar works, how you can create folders. I'll also show you how general bookmarks work. If you don't know, you're going to find this video super, super useful. Hope you like the video. As always, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So I'm totally embarrassed that I didn't know this, but now that I know it, it's just so useful and I've started using it already. So we've got something here, which is basically the bookmark bar. And what you can do in that bookmark bar is basically save your favorite bookmarks, but you can order them, organize them into folders. So for example, now if I click on Polish, I can go straight away to any of my favorite uh, websites and YouTube channels when it comes to learning Polish. The same when it comes to the guitar, the same when it comes to frequent websites that I use, and the same for guitar lessons. So you can create these folders across that kind of work like drop down menus. So whenever I used to save a bookmark, when I used to click on this button here on bookmark, I didn't really understand the difference between this thing here, which is the bookmark bar and all bookmarks. And now I understand that the bookmark bar is this and all bookmarks is this. So you've kind of got two places where you can save your bookmarks. But what's really useful for the bookmark bar is of course those bookmarks that you're using all the time. This is a real game changer. So I'm going to explain this to you super clearly because it's so useful. And we'll start with this bookmark bar. Now, just in case you haven't got that bookmark bar there, and that is possible, just come over to the right hand side here, click here on your Google Chrome kind of settings. And the one you want to come down to is the one that says bookmark and lists. So this one here, and then just make sure that because you've got this one here, hide bookmark bar. So I'll just click on that and you'll notice it now disappears. So what I'd have to do is come there, come down to bookmarks and then of course it's the opposite now it says show bookmarks bar okay so this is super useful and we're going to concentrate on this now when you've got the bookmarks bar there the brilliant thing is that you can just actually move your cursor over it and right click and you can get basically access to all the things that you're going to need and that's what I'm going to show you now so let me explain to you first of all how this works if I click here okay and when I go to save this bookmark, which is the BBC, I can click down here and I can choose where to save it. Now, if I save it on the bookmarks bar, this one here, and I click on done, and notice, of course, you can change the title as well. If I click on done, look what happens on my bookmark bar. I suddenly get the BBC site. But of course, it's a real pain if we've got to have, we can only have a certain number of these across the screen. They're going to get really full up very quickly. So the best thing to do is to actually drag that into a folder. So that now becomes part of a folder. Now, how do you create folders on this bookmark bar? Well, if you right click, you can do it this way. So if I clicked here and I click on add folder, and let's say I wanted to create along making sure that you've got this one selected bookmark bars i'm going to create on new folder and i'm going to give it a name i'm going to call this one spanish okay and then i click on save and now i've got a new folder now at the moment that folder is empty but you saw how easily it is to populate it so what happens now is that for example, if I find any websites for Spanish that I want to save, or ones particularly that I frequently use, I can save them directly into that folder in my bookmark bar. So what I can do is, let's say, for example, I'm interested in saving this page, okay, because I'm, I'm going to be using it often. I'm going to click up here, and then obviously what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and choose Spanish, and then I'm going to click on Done. And now, if I come to that folder, it will be in there. Now, obviously, what I want to do is build up as many useful ones that I frequently use 
as possible so that I've got them at my fingertips. So this is a really powerful way to work. Now it's worth understanding the difference between the bookmark bar and all general bookmarks because they're two completely different things and there's also a couple of settings that are really worth learning. So I'm just going to take this a little bit further so that you completely understand it. So it's really important to understand that you have this Google bookmark bar here, so your bookmark bar here, but then you also have your general bookmarks here. And they're completely different and the way they work is completely different and I want to make that absolutely clear now. So we're going to concentrate now on all bookmarks and just make sure that we understand them and also understand a few useful settings. So just before we move on, when I did this Google training, I did also learn about how you can really quickly delete content from your Gmail account, how you can free up space on your Gmail account and also on your G Drive. And that video has proved really popular. And so I'm going to put that on the screen now and you can link to that. It was actually part of the same training. And uh, what I'm going to do now, though, is show you a little bit more about how bookmarks work um, so that you really understand in the future how to bookmark either using the bookmark bar or using the general bookmarks. So as you saw earlier, I can actually save this website, for example, onto my bookmarks bar as an individual website, or of course I could place it within a folder. And that's exactly the same with all your general bookmarks. You can just simply save this website into your general bookmarks but it won't be within a folder. So if I clicked on this button here, and then I clicked on save it, not in the bookmarks bar, but in all bookmarks, if I clicked on that there and clicked on done, then this will be saved now in my bookmarks. And if I come down here, you can see I've actually got lots of folders, but also now notice that that one is outside of any of my folders. So the obvious thing to do is to do exactly the same that you do here on your bookmarks bar. That is create folders and then place any um, websites that you save into a specific folder. So let's just quickly look at how you do that. Just a super quick break from the video. If you like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Make use of the drop down menus at the top of the screen. There's loads of content that you can access. If you really want to follow my work, then sign up to the newsletter. You get updated with all the latest videos and the free webinars that we often run. And as part of that, you'll also get a free 14-part course in using technology in language teaching. There are no tricks. Literally all of the technologies that I highlight are free or have a free option. If you want to know more about the courses that I run, the consultancy that I do, then please go to the end of the video because I provide more details to you. But one final thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. Well, I use Camtasia. And if you want to try out Camtasia, I'll put a link in the description below. You can download and use it for free. There's also a free quite detailed course that you can access and I'll put that in the description below. And there are also two links where you can buy Camtasia from me and one of them will give you a very good discount if you're working in education. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. So very useful as well. You can just click on when you're on the actual page on the website. If you notice here from the star that this has been bookmarked, I can click here and I can actually just remove it by clicking here. So that's really handy. Now what I want to do this time is place this into a folder. So I'm going to click to again bookmark it. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down here and I'm going to choose choose another folder. Now I got folders within my bookmarks bar. We know that you've already seen these here, but I've also got folders within my other bookmarks and making sure that I've got this one selected. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this Russell and then I click on save and now that page has been bookmarked but not generally. It's actually now in a specific folder. So if I wanted to access this page, I would click here on all, all bookmarks, come down to Russell and notice there it is. If you notice here, all my general bookmarks are also organized in folders. And something else that you can do is that you can actually have folders inside folders. So if I come to for my English content, for example, you'll notice I've got journals, articles, 
and stuff on learner autonomy. So you can even add folders into folders as well if you end up having a lot of bookmarks. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Make use of all the drop down menus at the top, loads of content, and there's also some content on the front page that you can access. If you want to keep up with my work, sign up to the newsletter. You get updated with all the latest videos and the free webinars that we organize. And of course, part of that as well is the 14 part video course where I basically highlight the most popular technologies on the website. And nearly all of the technologies that I highlight are free or have a free option. I send you a video every three or four days and that can be really useful if you kind of want to boost your general knowledge of using technology in language teaching and language learning. If you'd like to do live training with me, then join me on Patreon. If you join me on Patreon, you get access every month to three additional videos. And these videos cover technologies that I often don't cover on YouTube. There's no advertisements. And I go into more detail around the ideas. So these are very much practical videos for giving teachers ideas of how they can use technology teaching online or teaching in the classroom. Apart from that, of course, you get the live training with me. We meet once a month online. We look at one, normally just one technology, but sometimes two. And we do lots of activities with those technologies so that we get really familiar with them. Now, there's about 80 people on Patreon, but most people just accept the recording and don't join me live. But there's normally a group of about 10 or 12 people. And that's really interesting if you want practical ideas and you really want to build up your confidence with using the technology technologies. The other thing, if you join me on Patreon, you will get at this moment access to all the backdated content. So if you pay your $6 a month, not only will you get access to the new videos, but in fact, you'll get access to all the many videos that are already up on Patreon. So you might like to think about joining me on Patreon and joining me for live training. A lot of people contact me about Camtasia. I am a recommended TechSmith Camtasia trainer. You'll find me on their website. And if you're looking for training in Camtasia, either on a one-to-one -one basis or just small groups, uh, perhaps you're looking to learn how to make training videos or to build up your YouTube video and use Camtasia to create your YouTube videos like I do, then please contact me and we can discuss the training. Don't forget, as I did mention, there is a link below where you can click and access Camtasia for free and give it a test. There's also a useful six part course that you can make use of. And in fact, that was sponsored by TechSmith Camtasia. And there are a couple of links where you can buy Camtasia from me. Um, and there is a discount in the educational version. And finally, on the front page, there is information about the two courses that I run. One is a course in using technology in language teaching and language learning. I do that course in collaboration with Niall. It's proved to be very popular and you can click and get information. It takes you straight through to the Niall website where you can find out the prices, the dates of the next course, etc. The other course is my very popular course on YouTube. I've managed to build up my YouTube channel to 80,000 subscribers and plus. Um, and I've done that without doing any advertising, basically spending hours and hours on YouTube, learning all of the little tricks by watching videos where people reveal what you need to do. Building up a YouTube channel is actually much easier than you think. There are several things that you need to do, but it can be done if you've got a nice idea and you can actually make money from YouTube right from the start. Now, if you wanna learn more about YouTube, again, you can contact me on the website and I can do one-on-one -on -one consultancy, or you can put your name down and the next time that I'm running that YouTube course, I will contact you. It's very popular. We've probably run it 20 or 25 times now. And it's a very popular course where I really take you through everything that you need to know to build up and succeed. Of course, you need to do the work, but I do make it all clear. And the key thing about that course is it's just gonna save you hours. 
Uh, I spent hours and hours watching videos and learning all about YouTube. I'm going to summarize basically everything that you need to know in two hours. If you're interested, sign up and the next time I'm running that course, I will let you know. Thanks for listening to all this information at the end. And I'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.